Welcome back to k &L Farms. I'm Ken. I hope this video finds you well. And I'm still do, trying to do, i um, in the season uh, for winter preparation. And so this material, I did a job. It's on my, uh, it's on my channel. Uh, you can go back and look at it if you'd like. But if not, uh, if you don't want to, uh, I'm just trying to pick up this because in short order, all of this material here, and I've got two or three jobs already scheduled for this material. This is reclaimed material uh, off that previous job. I need to move it because in short order, this is going to have two to three feet of snow on it. So I'm just going to get the farm truck, and you've seen the farm truck on the channel before. Get the farm truck, load this up, move it to an area that I can actually find it if I need it in the dead of winter. Uh, plus, it's kind of... Uh, an eyesore because when I I unloaded it uh, I was in a hurry this was on a trailer I needed the trailer the flatbed trailer and so I just dumped it here for the time being the winds kind of moved it around a little bit you can see it's been here for a while so I need to move that so that's what I'm going to work on right now and then I got to move uh, concrete or a cement mixer and then I got to move a, a lawn tractor and both those applications need to be down in the greenhouse shed. Now, I've, I've said multiple times, I, I'm done with the greenhouse area. I had to go back because I had a water leak, but, but that's also my, uh, themed on my channel. But uh, for right now, I'm trying to get this moved. I'm trying to get the concrete mixer moved because I'll explain that later on in the video. And I'm trying to get a, a lawn tractor uh, basically a lawnmower, large lawnmower. I'm trying to get that put away for the winter time. So let's get started. Okay, so I got the truck loaded. You've probably seen that previously. In the background, you see a building. That building is not an, an outhouse. We, where we live, actually, we have indoor plumbing, uh, but uh, in this application on our homestead, we actually are, I don't know if you'd say partners with, uh, we have different applications that don't have indoor plumbing, but that's actually a bee house. You see beehives in the background, and you see a, a building in the background and uh, there's bees or beehives inside that building. And the reason I've never actually put that on my channel is because I'm not very good at it. <clears throat> I'm not very good at raising bees. So I haven't themed that on my channel yet, but let's try this. I'm in an overflow area on my homestead. Um, because where that previous was, was right, <coughs> excuse me, I'm on the main corridor, and uh, me and my wife both, both came to, let's move that so that the main corridor looks different than, than the rest of the homestead. So let's try and get that truck unloaded. Okay, so uh, on my channel, you've probably seen it more than once, greenhouse shed, and this greenhouse shed actually, well, you know, I move a lot of stuff into here just to get it out of the snow. And I'll bring, this is uh, the cement mixer we own, cement mixer, and I'll bring it up and I'll show you some of the, and the reason why. And the reason why could be into 
in 79 and yes I remember 79 uh, last year we probably had four to five feet in 79 I think it was like six feet like a lot of snow and uh, I don't know that this you see it's got a plate on the back Clean, I'm cleaning off the instructions a little bit but it's got a plate in the back and I don't, don't know that that motor electric motor this electric it's not a combustion engine electric uh, cement mixer uh, that plate in the back de diverts water and rain but uh, in my experience to this point and to this point I'd go back three generations it'd be my dad my grandfather and me three generations that actually done what I'm, I'm telling you I'm, I'm doing if you got a piece of equipment left outside I don't care what it is in four feet six feet of snow uh, four feet normal six feet uh, 79 it's going bad every day it gets left out in four or five feet of snow it's going bad so in my family it's always been if I can get it underneath the roof and I built my share of roofs I don't know if I've seen that on my channel but but I built my share of roofs on my homestead uh, to get equipment under a roof so it's not directly involved in the snow so I'm trying to get this cement mixer in and I think it's out of frame right next to me is a there's a lawn tractor I'm trying to get that and this inside because I've I think I've only got uh, my, maybe a month maybe a month and a half but but I did that last year I waited till the last uh, you know two weeks or three weeks type of situation and then I tried to stuff everything I could in, under a roof and I come up short uh, when the spring came of last year or even in the, the dead of winter you know uh, November December February or January February type of situation and I, I kept thinking to myself well I didn't do a very good job this year I'm trying to put energy into do, doing a better job than I did last year so let's get that in first of all that that cement mixer and then I'll try and get that tra lawn tractor started and get that into the garden shed. Okay, got the cement mixer into the garden shed. I'm trying to get the lawn tractor in. Okay, lawn tractor didn't start. I'm going to go get a jump pack. And I the last video I think I put up seems to jump pack. But I'm going to put it back in the description because that's why I need a jump pack because... If I have an application, I need to move it, I go, just go hit the easy button, and the easy button is the jump pack.